Hey, okay, so let's try this again. So um, <laughs> we're gonna use the little chalkboard that I have. We're gonna make this work. So anyways, most of the area problems that I've already shown my students, we haven't done a lot of area at all yet. So parents, um, if you're watching, um, that's probably why they're like, Ooh, I don't know how to do this problem. That's totally fine. We obviously the rest of this year is just like up in the air right now. And I was planning on having more time to teach some of these standards. So anyways, let's, so this is like the typical type of area problem that most of you guys have already seen. It usually looks something like this. So it'll be it's typically we're only really looking at rectangles so far just because that's the most basic um, and that's kind of we're really only going to look at like rectangles squares and other like flat 2d objects in third grade so anyways this is typically what we've seen we've really only done um, rectangles so far and they usually already have squares drawn into them so that makes it a lot easier so most of our problems like I've said, it'll usually say like length, width, and then it'll ask for area. I really, okay, and that looks backwards to you guys. This says area, just so you know. But anyways, so the easiest way to do it, just remember you guys, the width is usually this side right here. It's usually, um, it's going to be these two, the left and right sides typically that's going to be your width and then the length is going to be your sides that are up and down that's an easy way to remember it um sometimes the width will be taller or like longer than your length not a big deal um so for an area problem like this i just showed my class it's super easy because area the definition of area is just like the inside surface area of an object so like in this case, how many squares are inside. But to make it, to put it into smaller steps to break it down and to help you with these harder problems that are about, that I'm about to show you after this, um, figure out your width first, which is just one, two, because it's made up of two units. We call these little blocks, we call those squares units. So there's two units for width. It's a two. Looks like a six from here, but I promise it's a two. Um, and then my length, you're going to count one of the sides, so either your upside or your underneath side. That's not like a proper terminology, I guess, but there's one, two, three squares for your length. So to figure out your area, you are going to take your width times your length. So you're going to take two times three. And again, I know that looks funny to you guys. It's a two and a three. And so I've told my class, if you know how to multiply, you know how to find area. So then your answer, or A for area, is going to be 6. Okay? Pretty simple. Um, this is what we've already, I've already shown them, so that shouldn't be anything crazy. But to go from that to the problems that I put on the packet is a huge jump. And I, I knew it was going to be that way. I really just did that because I know that these things are going to show up on like state testing. And I know that a lot of the students do have, um, you know, mom and dad or whoever it is that they live with at home to help them during this time. And they also have like resources like the internet. So it's not anything, I didn't think it was anything like too crazy um, to send home. But anyways, what we are seeing in homework are shapes that look like this. And it makes it look kind of crazy. So shapes like this. And they actually are giving a lot of these shapes. They're giving a lot of these shapes like actual units. So those of you who don't know what like a unit is, it's really just like a way that you measure things and then you label. So like this is in inches. So three inches, we got four inches, seven, and this is 12. So this is really the type of problem, sorry, I know these numbers look backwards. I don't really know how to fix that aside from like using my phone to record, um, which 
we'll just see how this one goes. If it's really difficult to view this, then I'll, I'll have to retake it and like use my phone instead. But for the most part, this is a 10. This whole side right here is 12. This whole side is 10. This little side is seven. We have four, three, and eight. So again, there's no squares. There's no like unit squares in this shape. So it's going to make it I'm sure the students are kind of like, uh, Misty, what on earth are you giving us? This is so hard. This is what you do with this problem. Make this shape. Do you see how there's almost like a little chunk missing from it to make this like not a full rectangle? Just pretend that it is a real rectangle. Okay. So draw like dotted lines or whatever it is that you want to use. So pretend that this is actually a full shape, right? Like pretend it's a whole rectangle. Um, Okay, so this is where we're gonna, it, I'm just gonna start it one step at a time. So this side is 12. We know that in a rectangle, if this side, so look, if we have a basic rectangle, we'll just go over quick basics of rectangles. These two sides, whatever length or whatever width this is gonna be, let's say this is two, we know that this side is gonna be exactly the same, these parallel sides they're gonna equal the same exact number. So even if this side wasn't labeled and someone said, okay, wait, but what, how long is this side? You would say, oh, it's two. I know it's two because these two are exactly the same. And the same goes with this longer side. If this is, if this is four, this is also gonna be four, okay? So for area, again, you're gonna take width times length. So that's just a quick, just a quick thing that you'll need to know that if sides are parallel, they are going to be equal when it comes to rectangles. Okay, so look, here we go. If we have this side, just like the example I just had, if this side that I have in yellow is 12, regardless of this number here, we know that this side is also going to be 12. So if I redrew this whole shape and this was 12, this is also going to be 12. Okay, with me so far? I hope you are. So same thing goes with this. If we know that this side right there is 10, then we also know that this side is going to be 10 or this side. Okay, so, so far, just to recap what we've done, we've taken a, an L, a weird L shape, and we've just kind of created our own little real full rectangle out of it. I just redrew it here without this little chunk missing. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to find the area of this shape. And I'm just going to put it on the inside area. So we're going to take width times length. Or it really doesn't matter what order because of that commutative property of multiplication, right? <laughs> okay, we've gone over properties so many times. But anyways, so we know that we're going to to find the area of this huge big rectangle. We're going to take 10 times 12. Right? Does anyone know what that is? Does Miss D know what that is? Oh my gosh, what is that? Okay, 10 times 12. It is actually going to be 120. Okay? So, so far, we've got an area of this whole rectangle is 120. So, I'll leave that right here. Now, is that our full answer? No, not our entire answer yet. So, our next thing that we have to do we have to look at just this little baby shape right here. So basically what we're doing here, we found the area of this whole rectangle. We made it into a full rectangle to make finding the area easier. And we're gonna find the area of this little tiny, like little chunk. It's almost like someone took a bite out of a rectangle and this is what like came out of it. Okay, so we're gonna now find the area of this and then we're gonna subtract both areas to get our answer. It's a lot of steps, but it's all operations that you guys know how to solve. So multiplication and subtraction, it's just calling it something different, it's calling it area. So we're gonna take, so that's when these little numbers here come into, come into importance, I guess. So I'm gonna redraw this little, this little rectangle over here. It's not exactly perfect, but this is this. Okay, I just redrew it to make it easier. So this side right here, we know, is it this side? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. 
this side right here is four. So right there is four. We know that side's gonna be four. If this side is three, we know that side's gonna be three. So do you see what I did? I literally just used what they gave me to figure out the sides. Okay, so now find the area of, why do I keep doing that? I don't know why I keep making my A's like that. It's very strange. Now we're gonna take the length times the width. So four, four width times length doesn't matter. So your area is gonna be 12. And I know that looks like a 16, I promise it's a 12. Okay, so we got the area of the baby shape so far, and we got the area of, so I'm gonna go ahead and erase that. I'm just gonna put a 12 here. So again, we have the area of the big rectangle, and then we have the area of this little baby rectangle. To figure out the area of the entire thing, we are going to take our the larger number, the larger area of the larger triangle, so 120, and we're going to take away 12. That will give us our final answer. So 0 minus 2. Can't do it. Have to regroup. Take 1 away from that 2. Add 1 here. 10 minus 2 is 8. 1 minus 1 is 0. Carry down that 1. Your answer should be 108. Okay, and don't forget your units. It really should be inches squared when it comes to area. You always add that little superscripted two. I'm going to be totally honest. I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about that. Um, I want you to just see roughly how to solve this, um, especially because, I don't know, it's a lot. I know this is kind of a lot, you guys, but um, I hope this kind of makes sense. I'm going to go ahead and erase this. For now so again you just took whatever shape you have try to make it into a full um, try to make it into a full full-blown like actual shape okay so um yeah I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video for today um, if you have any questions about this uh, comment below if you're in my class have your parents blooms message me I set up your guys' emails today you can email me you can like chat me using your Google account or whatever it is that you want to try um, I hope you guys I hope it was kind of cool to see Misty in video I know it's not like the best way to do this but it's better than nothing um, last thing before I end this I'm gonna go get Henry so that you guys can see Henry because I know my class you guys are obsessed with him just as much as I am so let me go get him I'll be right back um, and I'm gonna move this video around a little bit so that we can There he is. So say hi, Henry. Hi. So this is my little rabbit. This is Henry. He's really cute. He's kind of nervous. He doesn't like being on camera, I guess. But anyways, um, I guess I will go ahead and sign off. But thanks, guys, for watching. And hopefully I'll have another video up soon. If you have any ideas for me to do or anything for me to try or show you, please let me know. Okay, bye.